This episode of SV Live is brought to you by Shoremaster, sponsor of the 2016 High School Athlete of the Year. Hey, it's uh, Ben Underwood with another segment of SV Live. Uh, today, I'm with Nick Cornea, uh, Frazee's Athletic Director, home of the Hornets. Uh, welcome to the show, Nick. Hey, thank you for having us. Yep. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your high school sports background? My sports career in, uh, in Frazee uh, revolved around uh, uh, football, wrestling, and track. Did you have a favorite? Previously, uh, watching a, a Sports View clip, we had a student athlete here, Kylie Vanden Eichel, and I, I, she gave I think the best answer I've I have heard from a student athlete. By he asked that same question, and she said, you know, whichever season it is, if it's volleyball, that's my favorite sport. If it's dance, that's my favorite sport. If it's softball. That's my favorite sport. And I thought that was the most classiest answer I've ever heard from a student athlete. And it was a learning experience for me too, even though I was so involved around football my life, it was like, you know, there's that that point in time and that season, you know, that that's where your heart and soul is in. And that's what I, I like seeing out of a lot of our student athletes and our coaches when, when their season is on, that is their focus, that is their favorite, and they're putting their time into that. Okay, Nick, you've been the athletic director at Frazee for... Going into my third year. Third year. Yep. Uh, what do you find the, the most challenging, challenging aspect of being an athletic director? Uh, one, I think, is, is understanding perhaps all the, the different personalities of, co of the coaches, which are all unique, and it's great because that allows our students to be exposed to all different personalities and learn, and they learn in different ways. Uh, and two, it's, you know, it's, it has become a piece where coaches and myself, we, we rely on each other so much to be successful, you know, each program. And for coaches, it, it, it's tough for a coach to, when they're in, you know, in control of their program, to also try to think out of the box, okay, how can I benefit another program by what I am doing here? And that's that's what I have uh, found out is that the coaches that can do that are the, you know, they're the ones that are going to uh, they're going to rate themselves on a scale low. They're they're always going to hold themselves to a high standard, and uh, finding you know working working with those people, finding those people is uh, you know it can be difficult, but we have them at Frazee, and that's I hope people know that. And uh, you know, and it's it's anything that's built to last uh, takes a long time to build. And so that's, you know, we're in that progression and finding those people and working with them and getting them to uh, think and expand that, expand on that is what we look for. Let's talk a little bit about athletic facilities. Are there any initiatives or any things you're working on or have just recently completed at Frazee? No, nothing uh, necessarily recently that we have completed. Uh, there's, I, I can look at, I look at it in some ways different perhaps than any, you know, others would. Uh, we, we right now are in the preliminary st stages of working with uh, the Shields Corporation on a potential grant that, that, that could uh, enhance our, our athletics or slash even our community involvement too within the school. I, I, there's a term I, I, I had seen one time where a strong community equals a strong school. And it's, and, and it, it's a complete 1A, a strong school equals a strong community. The two go hand in hand and we're hoping you know, with this Shields grant this might be something that will enhance both our athletics uh, and there are our community involvement too and giving them something uh, to utilize. But there's also, I just look at that aspect, uh, uh, something that I have, uh, I, I regret when I first got the position, when I interviewed too, I, uh, I talked about the heart of a champion. And, you know, the heart of a champion can be looked at many ways. They're the best. I don't necessarily look at it that way. The heart of a champion perhaps is a person that you know what, they've gotten knocked down. They've gotten knocked down more than they've probably been the best, but they don't quit. They fight, they come back. And they tend to do that with, you know, not much. They probably don't have much for finances. They don't have the equipment. They don't have the, the great space, but that's what keeps them hungry. And I hope that's something, you know, and that's something that I'm gonna try to reestablish here yet this fall with our staff, you know, we're always looking for that heart of a champion. And it's that person that doesn't quit. We don't need the best. We, but we need the people that are committed. Uh, we need the people that are not going to quit or give up. And you know, and that's installing the heart of a champion. Any of those people that have that, students, coaches, they're gonna, I mean, they'll be successful in life.